Kia ora iho. Uh, my name is Neen. I call myself the Joy Ninja because I am trying to create abundance on a tight income. It's Sunday, so this is my day to do some savings challenges. It's going to be a good one, folks. I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 2, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 310, 20, 30, 5, 40. 340 to stuff today. And that is thanks to you guys. Through my Buy Me a Coffee um, link, I have some challenges to download. So people have been doing that, or they've been buying me a coffee, and I am truly grateful. What the heck am I doing? Putting the money backwards. So there's that. Also, some of this money was um, because I bank with a building society and every year the members get a little bit of a payout. It's not much, but I'm gonna be stuffing that today. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it. I think I'm gonna be finishing, well I know, I'm gonna be finishing a few today. So this video might be slightly longer than what I normally do because I thought I would show you what I do when I finished with the savings challenge. This quarter three is by Caro Cash. I'm going to do $20 which was last week's but I, I had very little to stuff last week so I swapped things around. That's just to encourage you that um, you know, these challenges are yours and you do them whatever way you want. You make the rules. There's two bonus 25s down here and because it's such a large amount, I'm going to fill those out too. Here we go. This is a weekly challenge for uh, 12 weeks. That's why it's done by quarter. Uh, and you can pop over to Caro Cash and um, she'll give you details about how to get your hands on this if you can. So, $70 going in there today. Alright, next challenge up is one of my own. I devised this mini savings booklet that has just little challenges. Um, kind of between $50 and $100. And I buttoned off doing these, so I feel like I'm catching up. I'm doing June and July together. Today, I'm going to finish out all of July. Right, so I've coloured off, the bonus cloud was $10 and all the $2 icons left, so that brings me to $36. Um, yeah, let's do a little bit over here. So I've coloured in the $5 icon and four of the little $1 icons. So together I'm putting in $45 today. Right. So that gives us 20, 40, 65, 75. 78. Sorry if I was slightly out of frame there, but there's three dollars in coins. All right, I'm gonna skip sweet as and come back to it um, because I need to make some change. Polygirl budgets. This one I've been working on for such a long time. Um, it's a $200 savings challenge, and I am putting this towards um, some adventure. 
I've got two rows left, so that's $50. I'm going to finish that today. Here we go. I'm really happy to get this one closed out. 2014. 50. And big thanks to um, Kay over at Polygirl Budgets NZ. I'll link it below. Uh, she has a channel and she sells this challenge on her Instagram shop if you're interested. So let's give this one a final count to make sure we've got what I think. Is 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 200. Awesome. So just put a clip on there and put that aside. Right. That'll go up there. Next one is. The Cupcake Challenge. This is from Liz over at Liz and Less, and you guessed it, I'm going to finish this one too. Alright, so before I forget, 35 going in this one and we'll give this one a final count so in cupcakes we've got 20 40 60 81 20 30 45 50 That also goes over the year. This last one here, this is by Lisa Grateful Me on YouTube, but her Etsy shop is called The Happy Mailbox Company. I'm going to finish out those two for $28. So I'm going to put 30 in and take the two out. And give this one a final count. So in Lisa's challenge there is 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120. That was a 120 challenge. So this money I'm also going to rehome into one of my sinking funds binders. But last thing to do in here today, gosh, it hasn't looked this empty in such a long time, is to come back to my sweet ears. Now I scratched last week and scratched $12, so I've put that in. Let's just do a count of what I've got left. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Cool. I think we're going to try and finish this off today.
That's been the most expensive spot on the whole thing. So that's 25. Let's see what the next one is. Last one there is 20, so that's 52. Let's just double check. 20, 45, 50, 53, all right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And there's, there's my change. So in sweet airs, I've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30. So these are mystery ones. Um, and I only promise that they won't be less than the amount that's stated on the card. But so that just to keep the excitement going, because I know some people will kind of like count and guess I just yeah I made them a random mount that was no less than a hundred dollars or I have 250 ones and 500 ones okay so that's all for my savings challenge binder today Now I'm going to hop over to, just make some space, where should we go first? Alright, this is my sort of long term savings binder. I stuff sinking funds um, every week and you know my regular groceries and whatnot. Uh, this one just gets stuffed as and when I can. Um, the first thing is that Polygirl Budgets $200 Savings Challenge is specifically for tramping. And I get to colour in two trampers today. Awesome, so the next time I do banking, this will be going into my bank account because I don't need it until January next year. Um, but I'm about halfway towards uh, that goal. There was an extra $10 in there, so there's two 10 in cash. I'm not gonna count it because I already counted it. Um, plus $100 in my bank account, plus I, um, Put a $200 deposit so that's how we get to 500 well actually 510 so that's that whenever I get a little bit of extra money or a windfall I like to give the kids some This is just for their long-term savings, and I've got 250 in the bank, so I'm going to put 30 in there. It's not for the, for spending on um, their clothing or their activities or anything to do with today. It just goes into um, a high-interest bank account, and when I feel like there's enough and I get my A into G, I will be putting it in a um, investment account for them. Emergency savings. So I need to fess up here. Um, the bulk of that money came from me doing some contract work during the holidays and because I knew that I was getting this um, this additional money, I used some of my emergency savings to book a trip to see my mum uh, in the North Island and I have zero regrets about 
doing that because um, while it's great to have emergency savings um, and it's really important for someone in my position because I'm on a low income and I'm on such a low income that I wouldn't qualify for a credit card even though um, my credit rating is good I just don't have the income uh, and I know that because I asked my bank a couple of years ago and they said no so it just means that I'm in a precarious position and if I ever needed to go and borrow money I um, I would have lease options the options that I would have would be um, finance companies and they tend to have much higher interest rates than you would get on a credit card through your banking institution so as I said I I did go and buy some tickets to go and see my mum and when I got, got paid before I got this money out to stuff today I repaid my emergency savings so there is a thousand dollars in there and if you watch my um, weekly videos my Wednesday video um, you might know that I've been having terrible trouble with my teeth and spending a lot of money there um, the latest is that in the last visit I had, I need to go have another visit in mid-August and I've got a firm quote for that now um, of $500. I don't have $500 um, in my dental account because I've spent it all. Um, so the way around that is that I'm going to use my emergency fund. I'm going to use half of it to pay for that. Uh, and well at this stage I'm going to use half of it to pay for that um, and I'm going to go and have the trip with my mum and I'm not going to feel guilty about it because yeah I um, I do want to save and stuff but I'm an adult and I'm in charge of the decisions that I make around money right so to me it's all about balance I'm not doing this to be the most frugal person um, in the world that wouldn't be that wouldn't be abundant to me what I know has happened is when I've tried to live on a really tiny income and been really strict with myself I've ended up resenting things so this last 25 27 dollars is going to go into miscellaneous um, and that's just going to help to pay for my expenses while I'm away and um, also uh, one of my daughter's friends is going to come cat sit so you'll see me putting some money in miscellaneous I don't tend to do that uh, but you know over the next couple of weeks I will be bulking that up and that is why um, we do have some money sitting here so I'm going to put this is my sinking funds folder by the way and sorry if I'm dipping in and out and it's really confusing I am kind of doing this on the fly but I knew when I started uh, the cupcakes challenge that I wanted to put that in birthdays and if we get this out this just gives me a lot of um, a sense of ease knowing that I'm prepared for the birthdays coming up in October and towards the end of the year. So I ideally I want $50 in pies and $50 in scooter. Right. That's that. And then in Lala, $100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And Squirrel can have the last 10. And their birthday isn't until the start of next year, but the very start of next year. And it, it tends to come at a time of year where we're busy uh, where I personally have spent a lot of money around Christmas and um, one of those other birthdays is at the start of December so you know I always know that I save throughout the year to have very spendy um, November 
December, January months. It's also the summer months. It's when you want to get out and about and have fun and yeah. You want to do those things. I am thinking that the money that's left, I've got... This was 130, I think. Hang on, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 50. Yeah, so that's 130. And this one is 120. One of the sinking funds that I, um, I'm quite focused on at the moment is the car. Because I know that the... The next thing to come up with this will be Rego in September. And I do have $100 sitting in the bank, but I would really like to be able to cash flow the registration. So if I put 95 in there, I just put 50 and took out 5. If I put 95 in there, that's that. And I, I will still keep stuffing a little bit every now and again. But by paying for these upcoming bills now, out of this money I saved, I know I can save quite a bit um, towards my trip to go see mum and these things aren't going to suffer in the meantime. The fur beasties, we're going to leave Christmas. I might put some money into though that five behind. Let's do 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let's do 100. So I have 150 in the bank, which is great, and I have 50, 60, 70 there, so now I have 170. Which is, yeah, which is good for now. Lastly, I think I want to go into Beauty's got 30 Let's give it 50 Clothing has got 30 as well. Let's give it 15 for 20, 45. And my health envelope is going to get that last $20. So I've got 20, 30, 40, 55, and I've been signed off by my OT. My shoulder is a, well, it's okay at the moment. Um, I've got some ongoing exercises, and as long as I keep healthy, um, <laughs> this envelope should be, I should be able to build it up um, a little bit quicker. It's been up, down, up, down, up, down, but you know, it is winter. That's why I have it. All right, so those are the decisions that I made about um, how to spend, spend the money that I've saved, um, you know, and I'm, I'm really grateful to be able to do it this way. Um, if you quite liked this um, video, could you give it a like? And if you would like to see further content from me, you could always subscribe. That'd be awesome. All right, have a wonderful day.
Kia ora.